A brief evening to you. Many thanks for joining us on the news at 6 right here on Super Screen Television. A blessed among us. And now to the stories we're tracking at this hour. The Independent National Electric Commission, INEC, has postponed the February 16th and March 2nd presidential, National Assembly and Gubernatorial and House of Assembly elections. Uh, addressing journalists early this morning, INEC Chairman Professor Mahmoud Yakobo said the election would now hold on the 23rd of February and 9th of March 2019. According to Yakobo, the conduct of the election is no longer feasible after the Commission carefully reviewed the implementation of its logistics and operational plan, as well as the Commission's determination to conduct free, fair, and cred credible election for the country. He added that the position Postponement will afford the Commission the opportunity to address identified challenges in order to maintain the quality of Nigeria's election. Yakubo also said the decision was difficult for the Commission to take, but necessary for the successful delivery of the elections and the consolidation of Nigerian democracy. Following a careful review of the implementation of its logistics and operational plan and the determination to conduct free, fair, and credible elections, the Commission came to the conclusion that proceeding with the election as scheduled is no longer feasible. Consequently, the Commission has decided to reschedule the Presidential and National Assembly elections to Saturday, 23rd February 2019. Furthermore, the Governorship, State House of Assembly, and Federal Capital Territory Area Council elections are scheduled to Saturday, 9th March, 2019. This will afford the Commission the opportunity to address identified challenges in order to maintain the quality of our elections. This was a difficult decision for the Commission to take, but necessary for the successful delivery of elections and the consolidation of our democracy. Meanwhile, President Muhammad Buhari says he is deeply disappointed with the postponement of the general election by the Independent National Electric Commission, INEC. The president will disclose these in a statement by senior special assistant to media and publicity. Garba Shewo lamented that many Nigerians had traveled far and wide from various locations to exercise their franchise, likewise the international observers. The president, however, said his administration would not interfere in the processes of the commission, but will rather ensure that all funds are released. He also appealed to Nigerians to refrain from all civil disorder and remain peaceful patriotic and united to ensure that no peace, no force or conspiracy to raise democracy development. And in other development, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, has asked Nigerians to remain peaceful in the face of provocation. Atiku disclosed this in a statement today while reacting to the shift in the dates for the conduct of the general elections as announced by the chairman of the Independent National Electric Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. According to Atiku, it was unfortunate that the government of President Muhammad Buhari failed to utilize the time it had to organize the election. He also likened the actions of the commission to the biblical hand of Esau, but the voice of Jacob. And still on matters surrounding the election postponement, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has rejected the new date announced by the Independent National Electric Commission, INEC, for the conduct of the general elections. PDP National Chairman Uche Sekundas, who disclosed these, alleged that the postponement is a part of a grand design by the All Progressive Congress, APC, to thwart the will of Nigerians at all costs. According to Sekundas, the action had clearly exposed INEC as a failure, calling on its chairman to resign immediately. He also warned that partly the party would not accept anything short of a well-organized electoral process devoid of manipulation, harassment and intimidation of voters and the opposition, particularly members of the PDP. 
Now, the chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, has ruled out political influence in the postponement of the presidential and national assembly elections earlier scheduled to hold today, February 16th and March 2nd, 2019. Yakubu disclosed this while addressing stakeholders at the National Election Coalition Center located at the International Conference Center, Abuja. He attributed the postponement to mailing logistical challenges faced in deploying humans and material resources for the conduct of the election. The INEC chairman also mentioned a drawback, what he described as an attempt to sabotage the commission's effort with the fire incidents which ravaged offices in different parts of the country. And meanwhile, a cross-section of Nigerians in the nation's capital have attacked the Independent National Electric Commission, INEC, for postponing the general election at the last minute, saying the postponement is disappointing. They also accused the commission of being insensitive over the inconvenience its decision has cost millions of Nigerians. I traveled all the way from Potako to here because I want to vote. Only for me to find out that they have postponed election. What kind of government are we living? Is it that this thing has never done anywhere? What is the government delivering for us? I'm really angry with this present government. This morning I woke up, I was preparing to go to Life Can where I did my voters card, only for me to hear from the radio that the election card has been cancelled. And I was so disappointed. We Nigerians were not fools. I next chairman is not qualified to be there. And my opinion and my own um, suggestion is this. That man is not qualified to be an INEC chairman. They are just taking us for granted. You know, they, they, they didn't mean well for, for, this, for, for, for us. So many people have traveled to their place. My sister is waiting on Saturday, next week. So how will it, how will it be? But then there, because I heard that it will hold on Saturday. So what about my sister's wedding? So what happened? Will she, will she now postpone it again? I've never seen this kind of thing happen in or any other country in the world that election will be postponed three hours before the election. It's, it's, it's very, very unfair. The respondent further criticized the ruling all Progressive Congress APC and the President Mohamed Buhari seeking re-election under the platform. I neck to do, do, double their effort. I neck, if they're not ready, they should tell the nation that we are not ready to conduct this election instead of deceiving uh, the masses. There are some people that have already planned for their own, uh, uh, some people plan for, for wedding today, some people plan for one thing or the other, some people plan to travel to, for one thing or the other, but they postpone it because of this election, they want to cast their vote because this is their country. And awfully, all of a sudden, we are disappointed. As a setback, I also see it as a way forward. I see it as a setback because Nigerians have really been waiting for today and it's quite disappointing for them not to be able to exercise their right of franchise today. And I see it as a way forward because it is better for us to vote in peace next week than for us to vote in pieces today. I'm ready to vote at any time because I'm ready for the vote. I'm going to vote any time. If they want, there's no any other disappointment will be more better than this one. Even if another one come when we are in the gate of voting, we will still wait and vote. So far, we have determined to vote. And still on the postponement of the 2019 election, Lagos residents have expressed shock and disappointment over the postponement of the election. They bear the minds in an interview with Adenike Oweye Ajiboye today in Lagos. The Reactions have continued to trail the cancellation of the 2019 general election. For many Nigerians, it is a shocking news. While some expressed great disappointment, others were full of anger. This is Okwebi Allen in Keja, Lagos, Nigeria. And right here you can see the whole street is deserted. And the reason is not far-fetched. A lot of Nigerians are yet to come to terms with reality about the postponement of the election. But how are the people on the street reacting to this a very development? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Would you react to the postponement of this election at the 11th hour? In fact, I'm so much happy because the, this election, did, they did not prepare very well. Look at some, there are some states that it doesn't have candidates representing a party. So how can such election be good? So now this one week they have uh, shifted it to. They will use it to correct uh, some controversies. 
we should have been informed 24 hours before uh, the postponement. We just woke up this morning uh, to find out that the election has been postponed. So I'm, I'm sad anyway because all my engagement for today that it's, uh, I'm supposed to be somewhere today, I postponed it. But for me to hear this morning that the election is being postponed, uh, it's sad. It is sardonic, it is a consulistic, and it is, it is very, very, very sad. So the generality of Nigeria, because we've prepared hard, we've planned for it, we've been expecting it, but to our greater surprise this morning that it has been called for. And I want to say that it is part of unseriousness on the part of this government. That is the reaction of Lagos residents in Keta, but right about this time, we will go to other places and I'll keep you posted with the reactions of Nigeria. Waking up to this news, everyone was geared up, everyone wanted to do something, but you didn't have that chance. So you, you kind of debate now, who's the one responsible for this? Is it INEC? Is it the government in charge? What's happening really now? This puts Nigeria into kind of we should have free fair elections. How are you going to say now, if you're going to postpone it just at the last minute, how are we so sure that next week it's going to be the same thing? I mean, what's the difference between now and next week? So right now, everyone kind of like, for me right now, it's like, I can't trust this election anymore. They are not really, really ready to help. They are, this, this, they have plan for this, what they do. They really have a lot of plan for it. But we ain't got no choice. That's what they have already planned, and the plan has worked out for them already. From Okwebi Street to Alausa, the roads were indeed deserted. Even the popular shopping mall was not open for business, same as other shops in this area. Few vehicles were also seen plying the roads. It's more like a normal thing already, you know. The abnormal become normal in Nigeria. It happened last time, but it was actually seven days before the real date. But I'm surprised that you have to announce such things just less than six hours to election day. <laughs> it doesn't work anywhere. Some people have cancelled their businesses already. Like I have somewhere to something to do today, I cancelled the meeting, everything cancelled. And talk of multinational as well, who have already asked their staff to stay at home. This doesn't work. I don't know. This ineptitude. Somebody has already displayed incompetency. That is what I see because they had all the times. And even the statement that NEC released, I didn't even see any detailed things there. They didn't detail the major reason why they actually like postponed the election. But they should be able to tell us exactly why they say logistic, logistic in what aspect. This is Olokpo Meiji uh, mainland and it appears here that the people are basically having fun playing football which goes to show that um, they are not really bothered about the cancellation of the election. Even over there behind me, every corner, they are playing football. But we should just get the views of um, these footballers to know why they're not interested in the election of the country. Good morning, brother. Good morning. We can see that you people are playing football. Can you tell us the reason? I wake up this morning thinking that we are going to vote. But actually, they told us that the election will be cast to where we hear it from radio. That is why we came here to play football. That means the system is, 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 is porous. That means the system is not going anywhere. How will you, they have allocated a lot of money and everything to this election and at the end of the day, for today to come 4 a.m. where people are asleep, people don't even know that election has been cancelled. Everybody stayed at home and in fact, I don't know the kind of country we are. And then to the road that led to one of the national leaders of the All Progressives Congress, APC, in Lagos State, Bola Ahmed Chinubu. But all efforts by Super Screen crew to speak with him proved to bolt it. And for these ones lying here, they complained of not being attended to and have slept all through Friday till now. Moving into Tinubu Square, all pointers show that Lagos residents are yet to grapple with the postponement news. Although few shops were open, while many remain under lock and key.
As it stands, expectations of Nigerians are high for a yet another a date for the election. The presidential and national assembly election has now been rescheduled to hold on Saturday, February 23rd, 2019, while the governorship state house of assemblies and FCT is built to hold on March 3rd, 2019. It remains to be seen how the election exercise will turn out. Only time will tell. Adenike Woye Ajiboye reporting for Super Screen News. Now still on the 2019 general election, a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress APC, Moshud Savado, has expressed disappointment over the sudden postponement of the 2019 general election. Honorable Savado expressed this view in an interview with journalists in Lagos. Savado also faulted the opposition party PDP over their call for INEC chairman Mahmoud Jakubu to resign. And in other news, at least 66 persons have been killed by unknown gunmen in Maru, Gida and Ira communities in Kajuru local government areas of Kaduna state. Among the victims were 22 children and 12 women, while four wounded persons were rescued alive by security agencies. The la latest attack is coming barely 24 hours to the presidential and national assembly election. Meanwhile, the state governor, Nasser Erufai, who confirmed the incident, said security agencies have been deployed to the area while some people have been arrested in connection with the attack. Ten people have lost their lives, including two suicide bombers, when insurgents attack Maiduguri. Fifteen persons sustained various degrees of injuries. The state coordinator of civilian JTF, Abba Akali, who confirmed these at the scene of the attack in Meduguri said one of the attackers was killed and his rifle recovered. He also said the injured are receiving treat medical treatment at General Hospital Meduguri. And away from that, now we'll take our first break here. And when we return, there's more in business after this break to join us again. So glad to have you back and now to business news. The federal government has reopened all borders initially scheduled to be opened at noon on Sunday today. The nation's border was shot ahead of the presidential and national assembly elections earlier scheduled to hold today. Sequel to the postponement, the Controller General of Immigration, Mohamed Bambadidi, in a statement said he personally signed said the Minister of Interior, Abdurrahman Dambazwa, has ordered that all borders be reopened due to the postponement of the elections earlier scheduled to hold today, February 16, 2019. He said the Nigerian immigration officers will now continue their normal border control duties to ensure that all persons crossing the nation's land, air and sea travel with a valid, genuine document and also pass through recognized routes. Still talking business, the National Bureau of Statistics, NBS, says the country's inflation rate has dropped to 11.37% in January 2019. The Bureau, in its Consumer Price Index report, which measures inflation, said the 11.37% the inflation rate from January is 0.07%. Point lower than the 11.44% which the country recorded in December. The report said that on a month-on-month -month basis, the index increased by 0.74% in January 2019, the same rate recorded in December 2018. NBS also said the urban inflation rate increased by 11.66% year-on-year in January 2019 from 11.73% recorded in December 2018. And finally on business, the nation's stock market has witnessed a rebound as investors gained at 14.83 billion naira. 22 stock recorded price appreciation at the end of trading while the share prices of 13 deepened. The market, which lost 18 billion naira on Wednesday, saw the capitalization of equity listed on Nigerian stock exchange increased from 12.87 trillion naira to 12.102 trillion naira. The all share index increased by 0.12% from 32,413.72 basic points on Wednesday to 32,453.69 basic points on Thursday, improving the year-to-date return on 
3%. The insurance index was the biggest gainer, recording a 1.2% increase, while the oil and gas and banking indices declined by 0.8% and 0.5% respectively. And away from business, we take another short break. And when we return, there's more in foreign and sport news in the beans. Do join.